I relate to Avril Lavigne, why do I say that? I'm a guy and she's a chick, so why do I relate to her? Let me put it this way. I've been following her career since the beginning, and I see a trend. And a trend that represents something that happened in my life as well. As she has grown, she has gotten more in touch with her appeal, both sexual appeal and general appearance appeal. She certainly looks a lot better. She is better style these days than she was. Now let me reiterate a point I've made in other videos. When she first came out, she was very, very awesome. Now she's even better. In my younger days, I didn't tap into my appeal as much as I could have. I didn't emphasize my appearance. I didn't emphasize my sex appeal. But now, I really like to do that. I really like to look good. It makes me feel good. And I don't feel like I've compromised anything. So some people say that it's too bad that she's changed. On the comments pages of her videos, you see people say, I want the old Avro back. The old Avro was fine. This one is even better. So I say better is better than worse. So we're going to keep the new one. And she is optimizing her appeal. And that's what I'm trying to do myself. So I see that parallel between us. And both of us, in our younger days, we may have shied away from the preppy type of stuff. In her interview, she was talking about how she didn't like how the other guys went for the girly girls over her. But there's nothing innately wrong with preppiness, at least appearance-wise. There's nothing wrong with looking good as long as there's a strength underneath that. And I had a problem with the preppies in high school, too. I'm not a preppy now in the sense that I'm so superficial, but I also value looking good. I love dressing up in a suit, not because I'm an empty suit. I'm a full suit. And that's the case with her. She taps into looking good on the outside as best as she can while still having the core strength. And that, to me, is something worthy of applause.